Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is lecture number 13 on solid state physics. Today we want to discuss about the normal and analogous dispersion then causes and similar relation, right? So let's start. You can see this is the syllabus of uh, University of Calcutta 6th semester solid state physics. This portion that is crystal structure, elementary lattice dynamics, magnetic properties of matter already discussed. In the dielectric property of matter uh, up to that portion that is the classical theory of electric plausibility already discussed. So if you want to watch the previous uh, this portion you can go to the description box link are given there. Today we want to discuss that portion that is normal and analogous dispersion Cauchy and similar relation and upcoming session will be discussed in the this portion also and Drew's theory elementary band theory superconductivity will be discussed in the upcoming lecture. So let's start today's discussion. That is normal and analogous dispersion. What do you mean by dispersion? Dispersion actually the variation of <coughs> refractive index of the medium with the wavelength is known as dispersion. Actually, you know the experiment that is the with the prism. If you uh, incident a white light, which is a combination of seven color light, then uh, is dispersed in the different color energy because <coughs> depending upon the wavelength. The refracting this is different that's why the angle of refraction different that's why we get this type of red uh, vigio this color difference uh, different color this is actually the dispersion okay the variation of the refracting index with the wavelength is known as dispersion there is uh, mainly two types of dispersion normal and anonymous what do you mean by normal when the refracting index decrease with the increase of volume when the refracting index decrease <coughs> with increase of wavelength this is actually frequency graph in terms of uh, wavelength you will be obtained like that uh, that is this will be decrease with the increase of refractiveness in the anonymous this will be like that okay this is a very small region this type of curve so refractive index decrease with the increase of wavelength is known as the normal dispersion or the uh, decrease with the in uh, decrease in the frequency decrease in the frequency or this is the uh, like that with increasing uh, frequency refer to index increases here also increasing frequency with refer to index increasing so this is the normal dispersion in the anonymous this is opposite in phenomena that is with increasing this is decrease or the with increasing wavelength uh, also is increasing so this is the anonymous dispersion these two can be explained by Cauchy's relation. Actually, normal dispersion can be explained by Cauchy's relation, which is nothing but this refractive index varies like that a plus b by lambda square lambda to the four. So when increasing the lambda, mu is decreases. With like that. Uh, in case of Schneider formula, this is the generalized form of this uh, Cauchy's formula, uh, which it says that it can uh, explain the normal and analogous dispersion also. But here is a drawback that is at uh, lambda equals to lambda k. Lambda k is nothing but wavelength in the vacuum. Uh, this is uh, infinite, right? Which is unphysical. Otherwise, this formula is satisfy these two phenomena: uh, normal and anonymous dispersion. Okay. Uh, you can may uh, you can derive the Cauchy's formula from similar formula because the similar formula that is mu square. That is mu square is equals to 1 plus k a k uh, lambda square by lambda square minus lambda k square lambda square minus lambda k square if you divide it by lambda square you will be obtained this relation 1 plus summation of k a k 1 by 1 plus lambda k sorry minus by lambda whole square so this becomes 1 plus summation k a k uh, 1 minus lambda k divided by lambda whole square inverse so by binomial expansion that is a k 1 plus lambda k square by lambda square when lambda is very much greater than to lambda k so finally you will have to that is 1 plus summation of a k plus uh, if you take another term that is 
to the power 4 that is lambda k to the power 4 lambda to the power 4 and so on so if we obtain this one then summation a k lambda k square by lambda square and then summation a k lambda k to the power 4 lambda to the power 4 so this becomes a this becomes b by lambda square this becomes c by lambda to the power 4 so you can derive the Cauchy's formula also i think clear about the normal and uh, anomalous dispersion and their related formula okay so after in our session we will be discussed the next portion of this syllabus this is all about me this is my contact detail you can connect me with this telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel we get different physics related videos on mathematics like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends either he or she also get benefit from the video subscribe this channel if you need this channel don't already subscribe thanks for subscribing and press the bell icon to get notification so take care we'll meet you in the next video thank you